Frazier. Down goes Frazier. The heavyweight champion is taking the mandatory eight count, and Foreman is as poised as can be in a neutral court. Yeah, what up, boxing fans? Just hitting you guys with the um, boxing Q and A. Um, I told told y'all guys I was gonna um, answer y'all questions. So um, let's get right to it. Uh, first question we got coming from uh, Zane Hussan. Uh, shout out to Zane Hussan. He been um one of my su- subscribers for um. Since day one, man. So shout out to you. Um, his question was, do you think Floyd Mayweather will fight again? Um, my my response to that, I definitely think Floyd is going to fight again. Um, and mark this date down on your calendar. May 8th, 2016. That's when I think we'll see Floyd Money Mayweather back in the ring. And uh, potential opponents, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta probably say Manny Pacquiao and uh, Triple G, because there's a lot of rumors going going around about him fighting Triple G. So uh, you never know; anything is possible. And uh, I think that's a fight that we could potentially see. And uh, we know that's a fight that can do big, big pay per view numbers. If he gets in the ring with Triple G, so uh, and um, that's a fight that I think definitely can happen if the HBO makes him a pretty, pretty, um, a pretty big offer. I can see Floyd coming out of retirement to take that offer. And um, something else that's going to be interesting: um, November first through the seventh, the WBC is going to have their convention to uh, make a decision. On the WBC titles, and we'll get a we're gonna get a pretty good indication of what Floyd is gonna do um, during that during that convention. So if they don't order Danny Garcia versus Amir Khan for that WBC title, then you can you can kind of get the, you can kind of speculate that Floyd is gonna come back if they make Danny Garcia. Versus Amir Khan for that WBC title. If the WBC orders that fight, then you can kind of say, ah, I don't think Floyd is going to come back. But keep your eye on that situation, man. That's going to be real interesting. But if you ask my opinion right now, yeah, he'll be back. They don't call him Money Mayweather for nothing. And let's get to the second question. Comes from. Ian King, shout out to Ian King, man. He's been uh one of my um subscribers too for a long time, man. When we first started this page, so um shout out to Ian King, man, from the UK. His question is 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 there an island where we can put all flomos <laughs> and drop a big bomb? <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Um. Nah, man, we can't we can't be dropping no bombs. Um, I don't think no, I don't think that's possible. But um, I do. I would say that um, I would like I would like to for the extreme, extreme Flomo Mayweather fans. Yes, if it's possible, I would say for those extreme fans. And when I say extreme fans, I'm talking about fans like like Dante's Boxing Nation. He's he's an extreme fan. You got boxing ego. He's we know that he loves he loves Floyd Mayweather, but he's not an extreme fan. By me, by when I say extreme fan, boxing ego he he likes Floyd, but he doesn't make he has, he doesn't make um this video after this this video just dissing and hating and shitting on different fighters to to promote Floyd Mayweather. On the other hand, you have Dante who makes this video, hate video, after this video to promote Floyd Mayweather, which is you can see that he's a an extreme fan. Like he has he has a hate video on Manny Pacquiao. He has a hate video on Triple G. And and just recently I seen him hating on 
Roman Chocolito Gonzalez. And I was like, what the fuck is he hating on him for? The man just been crowned pound for pound, number one fighter, best fighter in the world. And I see this man hating on the man. Talking about the man got to go 80 and 0 for him to give him respect. The man got to gain 40 pounds or whatever and go to 147 before he'll give the man his props. So, yeah, for those extreme fans, yeah, man, we need to get them on the island and um, do what you said. So, um, yeah, just for those extreme fans, but not the, the good, the good, decent Mayweather fans. They okay because everybody got their favorite fighter, man. So you can't hate on a, a fan because they got their favorite fighter. Hey, that is what it is. So um, third question. Uh. Let's go to uh Dave the Sinister, man. Shout out to him. He gave me some pretty good tips, man, about the channel. And uh, he's another subscriber. Uh, so shout out to Dave the Sinister. And he really knows his boxing, man. He the only one picked that, that fucking Matisse knockout. So he really knows his fucking boxing, man. And his question is, how about a hypothetical fight between Demetrius Andrade and Laura? What's your breakdown of that fight? Um, man, that'd be a real good, interesting fight, man, if it happens. Um, and Laura, and, uh, not Laura, Demetrius Andre, man, this guy's a beast. And many people don't know about Demetrius Andre because he's not, I don't think he's promoted properly. I think he was with Rock Nation and, um, he had some type of contractual dispute or whatever happened with that. But, um, yeah, man, un, un Demetrius Andre is a beast. And many people don't know Demetrius Andre beat Keith Thurman. He beat Keith Thurman in, um, in the, I think it was the 08 Olympics. But yeah, man, he beat Keith Thurman. But so my breakdown in that fight, I think Andre would beat Laura. I would love to see that fight. I think it's a 60 40 fight leaning towards Andre. But, um, I would love to see that fight, man. I think, I don't know if, I don't know if, uh, now, Andre's, I don't think he's with Al Heyman, but I, I got to do some double checking on that. I don't think he's with Al Heyman, but I know Laura is. He's with Al Heyman, but um, I would go with Andre in that fight if you ask me for my prediction. I think um, Laura would, would try to outbox him, stay on the outside, but Andre, man, he has some he has some sick skills, and he has power. I don't think, really, I don't think nobody fucking with Andre at 154. To be honest with you, and many people don't really know about this cat, man, because he's 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 like under the radar. They ain't promoting this guy properly, man. If he's promoted like he should be promoted, he'll be one of the top stars at in the in boxing. Um, probably Canelo. That's about the only guy I can see fucking with Andre at 154. But be looking out for that name, man. Demetrius Andre. The guy's a beast at 154, and uh, I think he would beat Laura. And the last question, somebody, um, they inbox me. I ain't going to even mention their fucking name because they don't even deserve no shout out. They, they inbox me a fucking question. And they ask me, um, why hasn't Amir Khan avenged his loss to Prescott? And I couldn't wait. I couldn't fucking wait to answer this shit. Okay. First, we gonna, I'm going to ask you why. When, when Amir Khan, will, when he's going to avenge this loss when Manny Pacquiao avenged his knockout. Manny Pacquiao avenged his knockout loss to Rustico Turacampo. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao got put to fucking sleep in his 12th fight by Rustico Turacampo. And he, Amir Khan will also avenge the Prescott loss when Manny Pacquiao avenged his, 20, his second loss in his 28th professional fight. To Met Met Gown, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. Is Met Gown Sigrusa? He got knocked out again in his 28th fight. So when Manny Pacquiao avenged those two losses, those two knockout losses, um, and I don't even know if those guys fighting again. Just like Prescott, we don't even know if fucking Prescott is even relevant. Is even we don't even know if Prescott is an active fighter because the last time Prescott fought. He got beat in fucking 2014, nearly two years ago. So you fucking tell me if Prescott is still fighting, just like these other two mother irrelevant motherfuckers 
that beat man that knocked out Manny Pacquiao, and also Amir Khan will he he'll avenge the, the um, Prescott loss when Floyd Mayweather avenges his his um amateur loss to Carlos Navarro. That's right. Since you want since you want to go ten years back and dig in the motherfuckers past and shit, and go back into their amateur and and um. Uh, and, and 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 professional backgrounds and shit. We can go back to Floyd's own. You want to talk about when people was a prospect and and shit like that? Let's go back to Floyd getting his ass whooped in the amateurs by Carlos Navarro. So when Floyd go and avenge that loss to Carlos Navarro, and Floyd also go and avenge the loss that he lost in the Olympics. I don't even know the fucking guy name, but we know Floyd got got his ass whooped in the Olympics. So when he go back and avenge that loss, Amir Khan would go and avenge that Prescott loss. See, the reason you sound like a fucking idiot that asked me that question, I ain't going to even mention your name, but the reason you sound like a fucking idiot is because you bringing up motherfuckers that's irrelevant. Just like I'm bringing up motherfuckers that's irrelevant. Them guys that knocked out Pacquiao is irrelevant. Those motherfuckers that beat Mayweather and the amateurs are irrelevant. That's why Amir Khan ain't checking for no goddamn Prescott. Prescott is not even fucking relevant no more. Yeah, I can see you saying Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia is a relevant fighter. He's un- he's an undefeated fighter. You see the difference? Nobody is going to pay Amir Khan to fight no fucking Prescott, man. It got to make business sense. This is boxing, man. Nobody who's going to pay Amir Khan 1.5, $2 million to fight fucking Prescott. When Fre- Prescott just coming off a loss, man. Having fought in nearly two years. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. And I hear a lot of people bringing up Prescott. You know why they bring up that shit? They go back and go back 10 years ago. They got to go back 10 years ago to find a fight where Amir Khan lost. If you want to bring up a loss, just bring up Danny Garcia. Why you got to bring some shit up nearly, happened nearly 9, 10 years ago. Against a motherfucker who ain't even relevant no more, man. And you and it's basically people that hate Amir Khan or either some people that's fucking racist. Those are only people that people that's bringing up some fucking Breeders Prescott. Come on, man. Tell Breeders Prescott to come first come back and box. Because the motherfucker ain't fought in nearly two years. Come back to the boxing boxing game and then get itself relevant again. Get a belt. Get, just make your fucking name relevant. Because nobody don't even know who the fuck you is besides beating Amir Khan nearly 10 years ago. So, like I said, Amir Khan will go. He'll, he'll go and avenge that loss. When Manny Pacquiao go avenge his losses. Floyd Mayweather go avenge his losses. Then Amir Khan will go avenge that irrelevant motherfucker. So, um, hopefully I answered all y'all guys' questions. Let me see if there's any more. Nah, that yeah, that looked like all of them. So um, I'll probably do another um, Q and A, boxing Q and A, um, sometime next week. But um, hopefully I got all y'all questions answered. And when I get some more boxing news and notes, I hit you.